A lot of people don't know about what this one we mentioned earlier when I was like upgrading stuff before like pre-extraction. So you have like different legendary powers in the game, legendary aspects. And like when they drop, you could always go to like the blacksmith or the jeweler. And when you put them in there, they could be upgraded. So this works for stuff that isn't like a percent base. So if you look at like my helmet or like my chest, right? Disobedience. This thing is the percent based aspect, but then there's aspects that are a range. Like let's say this aspect right here. This is the max roll aspect on pulverize is now an earth skill, which is like one of the most popular druid builds. What you can do before you extract this aspect to put it on your GG item, right? Is you can upgrade it. Notice it increases the value. So right here it says, hey, that's 4,141, literally maximum roll that I'm supposed to be able to get on this item. However, if I bring it to to the blacksmith and I upgrade it beforehand, it'll get boosted, right? Every single time I hit it, it's gonna like pretty much upgrade, right? It's 4,300 now. That's what the max range is 4,300. Now if I hit it again, it goes to 4,479, right? And now if I hit it again, right? It'll go to 4,658. And then if you extract it, that is gonna be the new maximum power of that legendary. And for like, if you're a pulverized build player, if you're a druid, this is amazing, right? So what you'll do now is you extract the legendary aspect. It retains, it'll retain the increased power. Uh, the new power, right, is gonna be based off the flat power, not the times two increase on a two-handed weapon. And then you extract that. And then you'll put it on your new weapon. Now this works for a bunch of different things in the game. It's, it's pretty much everything that's the flat value. Barrier stuff, like bulwark stuff, like if you have like pants like this, like you see the power, like at the range, 207, 414, you could do it on there. And then right on, now I can just take the legendary power, that pulverized one. Now I imprint this legendary aspect onto this weapon. You see, notice the value of the legendary aspect is above the range. And notice here, I want to put it on this staff. When I put this on the staff and I bring it over to the vendor to upgrade again, the power of the aspect will not increase. The only thing that's going to happen is the item power of the item is going to increase, right? So you look at the aspect, you look at the item power, right? Look at the damage range on the weapon. The damage range is going to increase, but it's always going to stay at 4658. Damage is going up, but the range of the aspect is not going up anymore. But basically what you want to do, you can just test this yourself for what works, but you always want to upgrade the legendary that the aspect is on first before you extract it for things that are essentially in a range and not a percent, be it'll increase the power of your legendary aspect. And it only works before you imprint it onto the new item. That'll work for like, like earth and bulwark stuff on Drew, that works for the pulverize of an earth skill, it works for barrier stuff. It wouldn't work for something like, let's say, your core skill damage is increased based on your fortify amount. It wouldn't work on your grizzly rage stuff. Like it wouldn't work on your percent stuff over here. But like you pretty much want to, you want to upgrade your legendaries before you extract, before you imprint it on your GG item. It'll give you a bunch of extra character power. Let's say I have like this uh, item. I'm a low level guy. This is, my, this is like my alt, right? It's my necromancer. It's like super, super slow. And then since it doesn't have a class requirement, I could put this in my stash, right? I could go on my druid and I can imprint the power on there. Or you could put like a, like a damage increasing power on it. So you see now, I just imprinted this legendary aspect on my high level character on my low level character's pants, right? And notice the item level on the pants is still the same. It's still level 10 equipped. What you could do if you have a high level character with the Codex of Power, when you're leveling, you just put a few items, right? You could use your amulet, put like a DPS related uh, power on there for your class, right? Just from the Codex of Power, because if you unlocked everything on all of one of your characters, you could apply them to any of your characters. And now for my little alt necromancer look, I have 360 life, but now I got a pair of pants that grant me a barrier for 8,954 life. So you could basically use the Codex of Power on your main character, transfer your gear from your alt, and you can enchant it and it'll get the more enhanced powers from your Codex of Power. At a certain level tier, it's like, I believe it's like level 85 or whatever, the aspect from your Codex will actually be stronger. So you're not always gonna use this trick. You only use it for a certain amount of time. All right, so you see right here, Right now it's 1723 If you actually use the aspect from the codex and imprint it on there, it'll be a lot higher. The range is bigger 
after you reach the level threshold, you see, look, this was the one that drops. You see the dropped range was 1630 to 2329. But since I'm over level 85, the value from the codex is a lot higher. So in this situation, you wouldn't want to use an aspect that's dropped. You would want to use an aspect from the codex, right? And once I enchant on there, it's a lot bigger. Look, it's larger than the drop range. And you could use this to like twink out alts and stuff. And if you find like a low level item on an alt, you could take the low level item on your alt and you could put it in your stash. You could bring it to the codex, enchant it. Then you got like a super powered alt. So aspects with a range don't upgrade post imprint. Yes, exactly. So you have to upgrade certain aspects on the base item before you extract it. The old cult is before you put it on your final item. So it's just, it just like testing, right? It's like testing your piece of gear. Like depending on your piece of gear, it'll determine which, what aspect you put it on it or where you get your aspect source from. How do you get items to show stat ranges? Oh, that's in the option. That's like the first thing you should turn on is advanced tooltips right here. If you don't have advanced tooltips on, you're just always gonna see a number. And turning on advanced tooltips is one of the most important thing in the game. Because you want to have the best possible roll on stuff. And that's how you that's how you see the range, right? Like you're like, okay, that's a max roll. That's perfect for my build. 